good morning guys welcome back to today's video we are at our regular farm our old farm but we're headed over to the other house we slept there last night i don't know we weren't I supposed could not to sleep. we what i could not sleep and it's safe to say no random people are going in the house because there's an R. yeah ellie was freaked out <laughs> every time sophie got up to go to the bathroom which was once um uh Ellie freaked out. Sam got up to go pee. Ellie freaked out. I woke up this morning. I went out and I started, I had a friend on the phone with me and I started going through the barn. Uh, the barn is steps away from our house. I'm gonna show you guys. Hey there. But first, things first. Today, Goose and Duck are moving over to the new farm. I'm super excited. We're taking them. I have, we, Sylvie and I set up a little bit for them we're gonna go and we're gonna show you guys what where we have planned for them they need a lot of grass so sylvie and i have been coming home taking them out putting moving their enclosure onto grass every single day making sure that they get the grass they need but where we're gonna put them we should be able to let them out in the morning and let things oh that's my phone all right so we are going to show you where we're gonna leave the duck and the goose. Sophie is closing up gates. I didn't lock them because they won't be able to open the gates. <laughs> Smart. You guys have seen in a previous video, we have this little house here. And then we also have this little dog house, which is actually a, a goat, baby goat house or something. I don't know. Anyway, Sophie and I moved in here this morning. In here this morning. And it opens. It's not super nice. Perfect for a duck and a goose though, especially for now. Nice and shady in here. Are we leaving? Uh, yeah, I have to go get them water and that's gonna be a whole other ordeal, but we're gonna show you guys. There needs a little bit of renovating. This thing here on the roof fell down, so I'm gonna zip tie it today. Uh, but yeah, let them out in their new home. Probably. Well, I want them to learn that this is their house. In fact, go. we probably have to, no, take them out. We probably have to lock them in here for a few days. No, okay, I got it. It just came running right out. Okay, so I am gonna. We're gonna have to teach them that this is their house. But for today, we're gonna let them eat grass in the in the field. But look at them. This house is bad luck. So I'm gonna put their food in this bucket because this Gracie. Is the fifth time I hit my head today. So Gracie chewed a hole on that bucket, so we can't use it. So that's gonna be their feed pan. Hey, baby. And even if we wanted to, we could put their food and water right there because. Oh, she's like, oh, food. I just about sat on a big prickle. <laughs> I sat on that prickle. You guys see it? <laughs> anyway, hopefully they won't stray far. I'm gonna go get I mean, them some water. Thing, so. But they have all this area that they can just eat down. My dream is to have them free range, especially in the horse paddocks where they can't get free. But until they're big enough. But until I they're big enough, we're gonna leave them back here. Hi, babe. Aren't they getting so cute? I didn't want to tell Sophie, but they could technically climb right through those slots. She is so super paranoid. This, my friends, is the water station. <laughs> this is the water station. And as you can see, it's right by the entrance to the barn. I don't know if I'm showing you guys this very well. So that's the barn in there. And this is like a little run-in. The goat guy had the water in here, which I think is perfect for winter, perfect for summer, because if there's no sun in your water, it doesn't turn green. I've never, worked this water thing before. So let's see. Whoa. Woo! <laughs> okay. Wow! So we have like this really fun hose that you guys have never seen that we are going to be using for out here. It can literally reach every paddock. That was easy. Uh, the hard part is I have to carry it through that gate and all the way back in that corner without spilling it. I love it. We have animals on our farm. It's literally like getting our first farm, even though it's not. Okay. Oh. Because it's shady over here and I want them to learn to come here for home. I'm gonna get a rake and rake up all these, all this stuff too. 
So basically they're going to be able to come in here. I forgot their food at home. I thought I had it in the van. I don't. So they're going to be able to come in here, get their food, but they don't eat that food much. They love the grass. Look, 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 your water. Can you smell it? Look, right here. Look, water. <laughs> so just like chickens, geese and ducks need water to digest their food. It's your water. There's water. He's like, I like the grass more. Anyway, oh there, you go. oh, there we go. Oh, and the duck, I think. Yeah, Brownie wants them. Do they know their names? I don't know. I call them Duck and Goose, and she calls them Brownie and Gus. And Gus. Yeah, she's so friendly. Come on, Gus. <laughs> Come on, Gus, Gus. <laughs> she's like, oh. Uh oh. <laughs> They're not letting us leave. <laughs> you guys are staying here. Oh, I'll myself. Oh, come on. <laughs> they want out. We gave them like all this food and water and they want to come with us. How do I close it? I don't know. There, that's good. Go eat. Sophie's so sad. She can't leave them. I did bring them. Here's the goose food. We'll take that out there after. And I brought them better water buckets too. Do you hear her screaming her head off? I don't hear her screaming. Yeah, I hear her. Aww. This is so sad. Just Let's just bring her inside. All right, so the internet guy is supposed to arrive today. We are still moving in. This is where we put our dog crates. We're still moving in, and Sam has like the best idea. Sam, tell, idea. tell them the idea. Rest. Rest, <laughs> yeah, it's a heat wave. Did I mention we're moving in, in heat morning. wave? And a little bit at night and then yeah like we're not even at our move-in date yet <laughs> and we're already half moved in because we're, we're we just get so excited so uh, we're gonna move in the morning when it's cool and maybe a little bit at night and then we're gonna what are you gonna do today Sam I'm gonna work on the fields for the horses so. the field or the barn the, well, all right awesome I'm gonna show you guys what I did out there all the girls want to give you a room tour and I want to show you guys all the house completely furnished once everything gets moved over hopefully by the end of next week it will all be done my goal we have we still have our other house for a few weeks like we don't have to move the horses anytime soon but we want to and then if we have to we can drive back to use the arena for lessons and hopefully I can find a spot that we can break up and put like our obstacles and stuff here that we can still do because you can run in grass ever since we moved I've been trying to show you guys everything and our vlogs have been getting really long so I'm gonna try and stay focused in today's video. So we brought the goose and the duck and then we're gonna work today and see what we achieve for the horses and then we're gonna show you at the end of the video. And then also my goal maybe tomorrow is to get the chicken stuff ready and bring the chickens over. My goal for the chickens is to have them here by the end of this week and it's a heat wave. Did I mention that? This morning I was out here. Okay, you want the hay to go over there? That's going to be the inn for Chino, right? Yeah, so we'll put the hay there. I'm going to clean all that up. So today, I was looking at this. This is going to be the best run-in. you guys ever heard of communal stalling? Well, I've been reading about it for a long time. I feel like this barn was made for us. I love it. I'm so excited. I'm going to show you guys what I want. This you is what I that? think I want. And I keep on telling you guys oh, because you, you guys are so good at telling me giving me advice and telling me what you would do and it's like giving me even more possibilities so one there's a huge breeze outside these doors this is going to be the winter paddock right here they're going to come up here and then this is going to be like our arena now it's going to be their run-in so it's got these two big doors that open or close in winter and then this entire space probably up to here like Sam will have to fence this off all the way from here to there so this will be our winter paddock and it'll be a communal stall it will be like a stall because horses do so much better when they're stalled with each other and if they're stalled in a big enough place they have the door open they can come in and out as they choose and we can open and close the door according to weather like we can leave it half open that's what we're going to do that's our plan is to have a communal stall and it will just probably be all the girls 
Yeah, it'll be all the girls because the girls, we keep them in the arena year round uh, and they can go in and out already and they love it. Like it has worked so well for us. So that's what our plan is. We're going to section this off. Sam was going to, Sam was going to build a bunch of stalls. More, I think Willow and Chino are going to be here. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. So that's gonna be a communal stall. I'm excited. We can like put the water in here. We can even put the water all the way in here, over here. Like there's so many options. So the thing I wanna ask you guys is I've been sweeping up all this hay. It's actually hay. I thought it was straw. It's hay on top of sand. And the dirt is like sand. It's so soft and it's all sand. So would you leave that here or would you clean up the hay? Sam wants to leave it because it's nice and soft on their feet and then clean it as we clean up poop. So every time we like clean up poop, it'll eventually go. And I don't know, I think that that could work or we could like bring in shavings, but I think we should just leave this, use it, and then bring in shavings when it's time. Then Sam's gonna fix up these stalls. Sam, are you gonna still separate this stall? Like this is a huge stall, you guys. We could put Gracie and the baby in here if we needed yeah, to. Wait. That. He's gonna take this thing off. Yeah, it's barely even in there, and we're gonna make it one big stall. I'm gonna clean or you it. Can keep it and put, make a dagger gate, and that way the baby can go in there. And then... Yeah, I don't. I don't think we need it. Yeah. I'm really about yeah. communal stalling, unless somebody's sick. We'll take it out. All right, we'll take it out, and then so we have a stall. And the only horses that we actually need a stall for are. And Storm. Storm and Chino. So Storm needs a stall because he can be a jerk. And I don't trust him with the girls out alone a night all the time. <laughs> Even though he's been out before all night. He just causes trouble all the time. So if somebody's going to get hurt, it's always going to be because of Storm. So he's going to need a stall. You were supposed to come back. I am going to come back. So one of these stalls will be Storm. And I think we're going to build this one up and make this one for Chino so that he can have an outside entrance. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to see you guys back in about five hours. Um, I'm going to try and rake up all the stuff into that area. We're going to clean out some stuff. I'm going to cut some grass and we're going to get this moving so that we can bring our horses home. It's a little bit later. You guys know I said this is gonna be our tack room and it still looks dungy and yucky because you can't help those cupboards. Maybe I could paint them. But Sandy suggested that I use like that Mac tack stuff and put it on the counters of my other thing, but that would probably work really good on this counter. I washed it, I scrubbed it. This is just like years of stuff on it. We have a light here. Um, but I cleaned it all. I got almost all the cobwebs. I still see a few. Almost all the cobwebs, but it's all clean and ready for our feed room. I might move that brown shelf out of there and put our grain over there. So here is a view of our tack room from the opposite direction. I know it doesn't look like much yet, but wait, we're gonna bring all of our stuff. We have our couch, couches and our blankets and our, like, we have a lot of stuff to bring in here. Look at this stall. Right? And then that I love wall. it. I love it. Hooks and wood we need to make it more secure. So does that fit perfectly there? No. No, it's a little bit short. But so you need so you're gonna put more wood? Yeah. And then what are we gonna do over here? Well this is what's gonna happen. Well, you're gonna have a gate there? Like how what's gonna happen there? Yeah, we have a I gate might have there. A, I might have, there's a gate there. Yeah. So I might. 
put wood over on that wall and attach it and bring it out here and attach these together. Yeah, you could do that too. Because we already have a gate here if we need to bring them in here. Okay, so this is gonna be, this is the outline, guys. Let's walk in there, I'll show you. But first, this area here will be where like we tack up our horses. I have no idea how <laughs> or where because you usually oh, have, you'll have all that, all that room there. Yeah, we have all this room though to like tack up and do stuff like with the vet and the farrier and the chiropractor. And yeah, we just made a horse barn in an hour. <laughs> Okay, so this is the winter paddock. This is where they'll come in at night. They'll come up this little dirt path here. And then they'll come in these doors. And this is their area. This is like where they can come and get out of the sun. And there's a huge breeze in here. Huge breeze. And this is, whoops. This is going to be their area. Sam's going to fix it so there's no opening over there. But then that's a gate there if we need to get them through into the, uh, into the stall or whatever. Oh, yeah, I love it. I love this idea. Our girls can come in here. This is so soft. It's kind of it's kind of dusty, but it's so soft, and they can lay down in here. We'll probably put their water trough over there so that it's not in the sun. But yeah, I love it. I'm so excited. Okay, last thing. Um, so these are the three fields that we're going to be using for now. We have like four more, five more fields over on the other side of that. So see where those purple flowers are over there? That's where the other barn is. Way over there at the very bottom is where the other uh, four or five fields are. So there's a little walkway in between separating them. So these are the fields that we're going to be using for now. And our idea, tell me what you think because we're not completely set on this though. So there's this field here, that field there, and this field here. This is where they're gonna be locked in for winter. There's two gates, and we're thinking about leaving these gates open and just letting them graze all in here. There's like places for them to go down there under the trees if it gets too hot. If we leave them all open, it's like they have places to go and, and, and then they can come up here and go in here for their water and... I love it. Okay, I know I'm a bit excited. <laughs> and this is where Laura will be. Sitting here, watching the horses. <laughs> Whoa. And the duck and the goose. Hopefully the duck and the goose get along good with horses because they might be in here with them. But honestly, just sitting here, staring at the horizon like look at those trees over there like look at all those woods look at that hill whoops look at that hill way up there like look at that field way up there like it's just so peaceful and so beautiful and so calming i hope the horses feel calm here that is it for today's video only on account of uh there's probably not any more room there's probably a lot more things that i want to get done today and that i want to show you but that would be for tomorrow uh, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for weighing in. You guys, your suggestions have been phenomenal. For today's video, we're headed in to do some shopping. The girls need stuff. They both had showers last night at the same time. So even though now we have two bathrooms, Laura still couldn't pee. Don't you know that you're